Today, we are on the hunt to see if we can pull more Charizards out of this Obsidian Flames Build and Battle Stadium box. So, without any further delay, let's start getting into it. Well, my dear friends, welcome back. I hope you have been having an amazing week so far. If you are new to the channel, my name is Josh here from Team Kyber, and we are all about Pokemon cards as we get into this sealed Build and Battle Stadium box. Wow, as I struggle to even get the... Uh, little cellophane wrapper off of it. I feel like it has been a hot minute since I have gotten us back into some more modern products such as Obsidian Flames. So that is what we are getting into my dear friends today. We are getting into this Obsidian Flame box to see what we can find inside. Now we have done some build and battle stadium boxes here in the past so we do know a bit about what to expect. Of course you do have these two amazing build and battle boxes that come inside the box that's kind of redundant but hey that's the packaging for you uh, which is kind of cool these are like your pre-release kits that you normally get right before the set comes out a huge fat stack of energies because where would you be without them i'm gonna keep mine sealed even though it's look at this wow i hope they don't come like that now i mean it's nice i guess to have a little bit of a pull tab but geez man if you're gonna leave something sealed leave it sealed okay my, my little rant is over. And of course, you've got your markers here for both poison and burn. Of course, those are wonderful to have. You this kind of like an ETB. You do have, of course, your damage counter little dice uh, and the die itself uh, with obsidian flames on it, which is really cool. And then you do have a few loose packs of obsidian flames. Look at this. We even got three different artworks. So that'll be super cool to get into. And guess what? There are even more packs in here. So we have packs on packs on packs. Uh, you know, as they like to say, I've got 99 problems, but a pack ain't one. So we're just going to start ripping and see what we can get ourselves into here today. For the promo card for the first box, we do have a Mawile. Look at that. Very cool. Very cool indeed. Uh, all right, I'm going to leave that sleeve for now because you guys can kind of see it. Uh, and of course, that's just there's other playable cards in there. All sorts of fun little goodies in there. We do have another promo card. It's the Togekiss. This looks awesome. I really do appreciate this artwork. Uh, you know, Togekiss is just large and in charge and going into action right here. And I I tell you, I love these. You know, you know, not only is it Black Star promo material, but it's just cool to get to see, you know, that promo stamp of, you know, Obsidian Flames on the front. It's it's just cool. I, I like it. I'm here for it. If you don't like building battle boxes, totally fine they may not be for everybody but you know what i enjoy every bit of cards and packs that we can open so let's just get right into it Alrighty, we have pack number one coming down the pipeline and uh, by the way speaking of packs coming down the pipeline if you guys happen to have missed our recent opening of none other than mj holding products uh, I will be sure and link that both up in the cards and down in the description for this video because that was kind of bonkers. Uh, we actually, surprise, surprise, we got some stuff out of there. That uh, was wild. Here is code card number one of the day, which is awesome. So yeah, go check that out if you happen to have missed it. It was it was kind of amazing, not going to lie. All right, energy out of the way. We've got ourselves a Numel, a Mawile. Hello, dear friend. Toga tomorrow. Graveart. Hoppy for some trainer love. Lunatone. Dartrix, Wiglet, we got Toad Scroll, we got Entei for the first hollow of the day. Okay. Still reminds me I'm hunting for my Entei for Crown Zenith. One of these days, I'll, I, I, man, I hope I can pull it. I've heard rumors that Crown Zenith is actually getting a reprint coming in October, um, more specifically with the Elite Trainer boxes. So if you are somebody who has not quite finished your master set, of um, Crown Zenith. Here's code card number two for you. Uh, be sure and look at your big box store shelves like Walmart and Target come October and see if maybe your store is getting in on that reprint. All right, we got Litwick, we got Adino, Charmander. Okay, we're off to a good start because see, they already know who we're looking for. We got Dratini, Dragonair. Oh, please just hit me with the last one. No, you're not. Oh, that would have been perfect. That would have been absolutely perfect. Okay, Armor Rouge. Ortega for some train of love. Letter of encouragement. I don't think I've actually seen this card before. Huh. That's kind of nice. I like the flowers and the, like the little satchel wrapping to it. That's nice. We do have Salandit. Okay. And into a Scoville. Of course. Our favorite hollow rare. 
out of Obsidian Flames. I again, I stand by my statement from. Oh man, was that the original booster box opening on on re release day? I think it might have been. Anyways, Scovillain is hands down the top hollow card I have pulled out of this set. Um, I, I don't know if it's the same case for you, and maybe that's by design. And like the Pokemon company is just like, you know what? Everybody needs to love Scovillain. There is code card number three. Uh, so we're just going to make him like the most pullable card in the entire set. I don't know. I would love to hear from you guys, though, if you have pulled tons of Scovillain. Or maybe your hollow rare is something different. So we got Lechonk, Togepi, Lampant, Gloom, Oinkalone. Ooh, almost skipped over Salazzle, but we didn't. It's okay. We got Lycanroc, Buzzile, Wugtrio. We I was thinking it was going to be another one. I just saw that blue. And we got Palafid for the Hollow Rare. Man, okay. And of course, this just throws me for the biggest of loops because I, I kind of have been ping-ponging between like Sword and Shield stuff. Um, and now we're getting back into Modern. And so these, these shiny silver borders are throwing me for a bit of a loop because I see them start peeking out as we draw into that last card of the pack. And I'm like, ooh, we got something. Mm, no, 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 no. There is your next code card for you. Enjoy those. Take full advantage of them as we get into a psychic energy with some oddish love for Gen 1. Let's go. Finizen, Herdier, Limit, Volcarona, Altaria, Houndoom, Mawile. Let's get it. Drillbur. And into a Thunderous for the Hollow Rare. My, my, my. We So those, okay. Just for reference, that whole stack was one box. That was one of the build and battle boxes. We are now into the second build and battle box with their packs. And I don't know, maybe this was a bit of a bust. I hope not. I have faith, I still have confidence because we still have a couple of packs and stacks of packs left to go. So we'll see. Oh, I drew into it with authority and it betrayed me. So there is a code card for you guys again. Upside down, but we fixed it. Don't worry. Got our energy. We got Crabrawler, Lilip, Ponyard, Sharkadet, Toad Scroll, come on, Ninetales, Doug Trio, Chandelure, Diggersby, and into. Haha, <laughs> there we go. First hit of the day. Absol EX. I'm not going to turn my nose up at that. Uh, in all honesty, I think I still need this card. Uh, by the way, I have, uh, I, I, I'm really leaning towards master setting Obsidian Flames. Uh, I, I'd be very curious to hear from all of you if you have decided to master set Obsidian Flames or if you're master setting anything really from Scarlet and Violet thus far. How has that been going for you? I, I'm very, very curious to hear from you guys. All right, we're getting into another code card. Upside down again. Darn it. I want to win. I want to have a card right side up for you guys. We'll see. All right, we got ourselves a grass type energy with Carvana, Ball Toy, Paldean Whooper, Steeny, Ronzong, Bear Tick. Hello, Charmeleon hanging out in the snow. We got Pidgeotto and into Darumaka. And last but certainly not least. A palafin for the hollow. Okay. All right. Not to worry. Not to worry. We still have our Absol EX. It's it's not a total loss yet. We've got something. Absol is hanging out there. And he's watching over all the rest of the poles that we have. And it's upside down. You know what? I'm going to figure this out one of these days. Enjoy that code card, y'all. <laughs> I really will. Oh, my. All right. We got ourselves the Psychic Energy Meltan. Scyther, ya boy, Zigzagoon, Palpitoad, Houndstone, Diggersby, okay, wonderful, wonderful to see you as well, Soul Rock, Stunkfisk, Togedemaru, and into Gita for the Trainer Hollow. I think that's our first Trainer Hollow we've seen all day though too. Interesting, very, very interesting. Wow, and these packs are <laughs> opening in the most bizarre ways possible. <laughs> I take them as long as I can get them. All right, now watch. I've been pulling here. We're gonna, we're gonna pull this way and flip it. Did it? No, I was wrong. Darn it. You know what? Try, try again. That's what they say. There's a code card, everybody. Man, I thought I had the system figured out, but I was wrong. We got Tadwolf, Hondur, Toad School. We got NK, Exadrill, Pidgeotto, just chilling in the tree with some Dragonair love, a Thunderous. 
Froki for some starter loving into Scizor for the hollow. Okay, we are down to the last three packs. This is this is interesting. I don't think we've had one go in this direction in a while as far as build and battle stadiums have gone. Um, because we had some really epic bangers out of the um, Scarlet and Violet base set ones. Um, I want to I want to even say it was the first one. I think we might have done two. I'll whichever one it is. I'll, I'll link it up in the cards and then down, of course, in the description as well. Because uh, I'm pretty sure we pulled like one of the best cards in the entire set out of it. It was pretty epic. Alrighty, we got ourselves another energy card. Of course, we got our friend Toxel, Little Pup, Heatmore, Timple. Haldan, Claude Sire, Trevenant, Bella Bolt, Pidgeotto, Palpatode, and into. Okay. Hi, Scovillain. Hello. Nice to see you again. As always. Yes. He trolls me. He does. He tasks me, and I shall have him. He's great. I love him. I do. I just, I kind of wish we'd get a little more heat out of this Obsidian Flames building battle stadium box. All right. We've got ourselves a code card, of course, but you never know. We're down to the second to last pack. Maybe we're going to get something epic out of here. We've got Heatmore, Timpole, Magneton, Bisharp, Lunatone, Dartrix, okay, Oinkalone, Stunfist, come on. We got Grumpig and into... A thunderous for the hollow okay guys big time energy we have the charizard pack art for the last and final pack of today's opening i'm hoping this is the sign so send uh send us your good luck send us your good vibes you guys know what i'm gonna ask you for head on down smash that like button it does tremendous things to help us grow our community here at the channel and of course, it just grows the entire Pokemon community as a, as a whole, because we're, that's what we're all here for. We're all here for the love of Pokemon, whether it's cards or it's the games, what have you. We're all in this together. So there you go. Alrighty, here it is. We've got ourselves. It's a fighting energy. Oh, boy. Who? Magneton, Bisharp, Shuckle, Wiglet, Flamigo, Bronzong, Beartick, Thunderous, Skarmory, and into a Scizor for the Hollow Rare. This is really all we got out of it. We got an absolute EX. It's interesting to see it not pan out in the way I thought it was going to go, but it just goes to show, guys. Like, when they happen, they happen, and when they don't, clearly, we have things like this. And that is A-OK, -okay because ultimately, at the end of the day, it's just part of the journey. That's going to do it for today's opening. Be sure and leave a like on this video on your way out. And if you haven't done so already, consider subscribing to the channel so that you too can become part of the Kyber crew. Also, don't forget to hit that little bell notification button so that you don't miss any awesome content that is coming your way in the very near future. Down in the comment section below, let us know, have you been able to get your hands on the Obsidian Flames build and battle stadium box yet? And if you have, what were your pull rates like? I am really curious to hear from you. And as always, stay safe. I love you. Have yourself an awesome rest of the day, and I will see you in the next one.